Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, it's good to be here. Uh, the Jorge Castaneda fight. Um, we're going to get into it. Uh, Jonathan Gonzalez, Jorge Castaneda. Uh, came up a little short with it. Um, I'm going to let everyone join. Uh, we're going to do a, a live reaction uh, to that fight once you guys pour in. Um, let me know what you guys think, though. Um, let me know when, when, when you guys pour in here. Um, this is not what I'm looking for. Hang on. All right. I'm gonna let you guys pour in. Um let me know. Let me know when y'all are here. Um let me know uh as you guys pour in. Um we're gonna uh, we're gonna get we're going to get into this a little bit. Um, all right. Uh, <clears throat> all right. It's the first time uh, I'm doing this, y'all. Um, Hey, all right, we got we got someone. All right, so what did you guys think of the fight? You know, uh, I said that um, Castaneda uh, would start slow, and he did. I said that Gonzalez would. Um, I, I say, um. Uh, let's get started. I said that uh, uh, Gonzalez would be too willing to exchange. Um, I, I thought that Castaneda would come on strong. I, I, I thought that Castaneda uh, would, would would rally. Uh, I thought, he, you know, I said he would start slow. You know, he just started a little too slow. He lost one too many rounds. He got knocked down. He just got a little bit too far behind. You think he won, So. You think you think uh you, you, I mean you think uh you think how'd you have it? How'd you have it? Uh I, I thought um I had him losing my point. I thought the knockdown was the difference. It's just thought he, you know, got a little bit too far behind. Um and uh it was just enough for I, I thought Castaneda swept. Um, the last four rounds, but I only gave him one of the first six. So I had it 5-5, five, five, but I had 95-94 um, for Gonzalez. Gonzalez is, is, is a better fighter. He's a classier fighter. Um, he could take a shot. I, we didn't know really how much he could take a shot, um, but it, it it was enough, right? Like, it, it, it was just enough to survive. Keston, uh, Gonzalez rallied. You know, he scored some shots. He was able to keep uh, Castaneda, Castaneda off of him, right? Um, and, and he's able to stop him in his tracks when it looked like Castaneda. You know, it was in the ninth round where Castaneda hit him with a body shot. Uh, where Castaneda really, really hurt Gonzalez, uh, and it looked like okay, this may be it. Like he may be able to, he may be able to go for it here. He may be able to let it go. Um, but Gonzalez would, would catch him with the left hand and just just slow him down, just take a, a little bit of steam out of Castaneda's momentum. Uh, but there was definitely a, a switch in the momentum. It's not that he was – it was – it was It was not that, uh, you know um, – I'm sorry. It was not like Castaneda, uh, Gonzalez was getting washed or anything. Uh, it was, it was just, you know, he, you could see he was the worst for wear. And I, I could see that unfolding in the, in, in the middle rounds, right? Like, okay, I, I think, um, Gonzalez is winning these rounds, but he's losing the war, right? Like Castaneda is going to get a shot, but it's going to have to come by stoppage. And then I didn't think he was going to sweep seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, You guys think that I, – I don't think this was a robbery. I don't think any of the car, cards were bad. I don't think the cards were bad at all. I had 95-94 Gonzalez. 
How did y'all have it? I don't think the I don't think any of the cards were inappropriate. I could see 97, 92 um for Gonzalez and I could 95, 94, you're right. I mean, I, I thought I could I mean, maybe you can get there. You'd have to flip the first round, I guess. Um, you know, if you gave him four, seven, eight, nine, and ten, that's five, five, but the knockdown makes it a one point, you know, a, a, a one point uh decision for Gonzalez, which is how I had it. You know, I had it 95, 94, Gonzalez. You could have, you know, I, I thought the scores were going to be 95, 94, 96, 93, Gonzalez in that range. But if you flip one more round, which is the first, both guys landed a really clean shot in the first. I, I thought besides the one really clean shot they landed in the first, Gonzalez boxed a little better. So I gave the first round to Gonzalez. But I feel like you could flip that. I feel like you could flip the first round and have it 95, 94 the other way and then give all the other close rounds to Castaneda. I don't think the I agree. I agree, RM. I, I thought Castaneda um, needed a knockdown. I, I thought he, you know, I, look, I had him down five to one. So I had him down five, you know, five to one with the knockdown. I had him five, five, one after six. I had him down five points after six, which means he needed a knockout at that point. Now you don't got a gun for the knockout. You don't got to go all in, but you got to start systematically breaking him down. You got to pick it up. You got to take more chances to break him down, right? Like you don't got to stop him in, in one shot in the seventh. You have 12 more minutes, right? But you, you it's got to come from the corner. Look, kid. You're losing this fight. And I, I said in, in, in the pre-fight video, I, I said um, Castaneda is going to start slow. I just didn't expect him. It, it, I, I thought by four he'd get going. He really didn't get going till seven, right? Like four, five, and six, he did better, but he was still probably losing the rounds. So I thought he won four, but you could argue he didn't, right? You could probably argue he won six. I didn't give it to him. Uh, but you can see, like, okay, he's landing. He's getting where he wants to get in the ring. But he's probably, and I, you know, I, I go back. He may have not won the fourth right? He just did a lot better. In, in... Yeah, shout out Tanahara. Tanahara's going to win. Tanahara's going to beat Andy Cruz. What do you guys think about Andy Cruz? I, I think him fighting, uh, Andy Cruz fighting Hector Tanahara is way too big a jump. Now, this is Andy Cruz's second fight. Uh, Andy Cruz fought Burgos when Burgos was three years older than when Tanahara fought him. And I thought Tanahara beat him better. I, I This is this is a risky fight that Eddie Hearn is putting his boy Andy Cruz in. Uh, Tanahara would have won against Gonzalez tonight. Well, that's probably true, Ryan. He's also 10 pounds bigger. So factor that in, right? Uh, Tanahara's fight. But, oh, I guess this fight is, is the Andy Cruz fight at 35 or 40. You know, Tanahara's, you know, he's not a big puncher, which which was going to make moving up in weight classes more difficult. It was That was going to be a difficult thing to do for Tanahara because he doesn't punch. But he's a naturally big guy. Like, I didn't think he could stay at 35 for long. I thought 40 might be a better fit for him so he doesn't have to drain himself. Uh, because, you know, when you go back and he, and he, and he got his and he got beat in by Zepeda, he looked slow in that fight. Like, he really, really, really looked slow in that fight. And I think that may have had something to do with the weight cut, right? And we've seen him fade in, in, in his next fight. And I, that may have to do with the weight cut. Like, Tanahara is not a puncher, so they're trying to keep him in the smaller weight classes so his power isn't exposed, right? Because you move him up to 40 or 47, like, he can't punch. Uh, so, you, you know, you try to keep him in with the smaller guys. Maybe the power carries a little better at the smaller weight classes. Uh, but I, I, think, I don't think Andy Cruz is a puncher. I didn't really see anything next worldly about Andy Cruz that I, look Tanahara. I, I, I always tell this story. Um, what Clay Burns fought Hector Tanahara on the come up, and he fought Devin Haney on the come up. I asked him. Uh, he trains in Fort Worth. I know him well. I said, Clay, who's sharper at that level, at that stage of development? Who is better, Hector or Devin Haney? And he said without hesitation, Hector. Like, Hector's that dude, right? Like, he just doesn't hit, and then a guy like Zepeda can just walk through him. If, if you can't do what Zepeda does, and I think Zepeda may be the best guy at 135, um, you're not going to be – you're going to have to hold with Hector. Like, Hector's skills and his speed is, 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 some, is, is, is a problem. 
Let me respond to Ryan here. Um, but I, I think Hector has a real shot against uh, Andy Cruz. Who do you guys like in the main event? Put put in the comments. Who who do you guys got? Devin or Regis in the, in the main event? I, I like Regis in there. I haven't looked at the odds yet because we're still a little ways out, and I'll do it. I'll do a show on that. Obviously, I, I think I like Devin. I'm really interested in in seeing what the odds on that fight is. But Pro Box TV, shout out to Pro Box TV. Pro Box TV now has to fill a void for Showbox, right? Same kind of inventory, right? Like the same kind of fights they put on. Good fighters in great fights. You evenly match prospects uh, against other prospects who aren't exactly setting the world on fire. You're not putting PBC prospects in there, right? Or top ranked prospects. You're putting just that next level of prospecting and really good fight trying to get to that level. Uh, I think Pro Box, the last however long he's been around, a year, year and a year and a half, two years, whatever it's been, I think it's been really, really good. Like I, I really, really like it. Um, I, I hope it's around for a while. I got some issues, some concerns, how they're paying the bills there, right? Like, when I first got the app, it was like fifteen dollars for the year. Okay, that's a price of a CD in 1996. It's not really much. Uh, now you can get it for free, which means it costs nothing. But they have Paulie Malignaggi and Chris Algieri, two former world champs, who are in demand as commentators. And on the Spanish telecast, they got Juan Manuel Marquez, and they got decent fights. So you got to pay these guys something. I'd like to see what the town Howard got. Um, what what? These guys, Castaneda and Gonzalez, got paid. I don't think they got paid peanuts. They probably got paid 15, 30 grand, is my guess. You know, I, I would say Castaneda got 15 uh, and Gonzalez. You got to pay him something. They're, 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 you know, Jonathan Gonzalez was a touted guy who fought Robisi Ramirez in a fight that at that time was the winner's going to get a title shot. Was, you can't say, like, um, these, this, these, these, these are, you know, club fighters or trash tier. These are good fighters. Right, they just one fight away. Uh, you know, my hope is that you you would get Castaneda uh, and, and Gonzalez a rematch. I would almost be certain that that's not going to happen. Like, why would Gonzalez, who was just trying to survive the final ten minutes of that fight, why would he do that again? Right, like no one cares who Jorge Castaneda is outside of Texas and outside of Laredo. Right, like no one cares. Um, so I don't think you're going to get that fight again, but I, who wouldn't want to see that fight again? That was, a, that was an awesome fight. It was an awesome fight. And look, we got a lot of fights left. Um, we didn't get cleaned out on that one. We didn't totally get washed out on that one. That wasn't a horrible fight um, for us. We, we, we did lose money on it, obviously, but we were able to hedge and we, we, we went with the over. But if you took my advice, you, you lost the – I always say one time is about hundred dollars on the over. Uh, you lost hundred dollars on, on Castaneda, um, and then you made money on the over, right? So I think you, you lost a hundred, but you won thirty five on the over. That's where we would be if you took my advice on that fight. But we got a lot more fights. Hey guys, I, I did a video on on, on Troy Williamson and um, Ajako. You guys asked me to do that. <laughs> no one watches. It's got like 20 views on it. You wanna, I, I think a Jocko, I think that's a good fight to make money on. Uh, but we also got Ryan Garcia fight. Like we got a lot of fights this week to make money on. And I'm going to do another one on uh, Barroso, uh, the Barroso fight. Um, what other fights? Is there anything else? Put in the comments. Is there any other fight that you guys want to see me do a video on? If, if, if you're in the comments and there's any fight you want this week, that you want me to, to break down the odds. Look, and I'm going to tell you, some fights are not like someone, so, not every fight is a good fight to bet on. Not a, thanks, Ra. Not every fight is, is, is a great fight to bet on, right? Like I say, there's, there's always a bull market, but not every fight's a bull market. Like I said about the Super Bowl Matias fight, I, I think Matias is going to win. And I like the under. If I had to bet on it, I'd only bet on the under. But, like, I'm not touching a fight that that's violent. Right? Like, anyone in that Matias fight can get knocked out. I don't really like betting on that fight unless you're taking the under. And I love the under in that fight. It, you know, it, it hit the under. Uh, but if there's a fight y- y'all want to see, y- you want me to play with the odds on, I'll show you the best way to make money on that fight. And, and, and look, not every fight um, 
you know, not everybody is going to be a huge payday. You know, not every fight's massive, right? But like, you know, in the Ajako fight, Ajako's going to win this thing. And you just, you know, the odds are somewhere between minus 130 and minus 170, depending on what book you look at. And you just clean up and you, and you just start banking money. You know, they, like, again, they don't know what they're doing. I've shown you guys so many fights where the odds are ridiculous. Uh, what you got, Raw, is, is the Troy Williamson fight worth looking at? Uh, yeah, I, I, Raw, I, I would look at it. I, I think it's Jocko. Is definitely going to win that fight. Like I, I, I was initially when, when they first when I first looked at the fight, just there's just the names. Troy Williams has got a knockout victory over Ted Cheeseman. He's been in with Josh Kelly. That's a world class fighter. Went the distance, and Jocko has fought nobody. So just top the dome. I'll probably take Troy, Troy Williamson. I went in. I watched a bunch of tape on both of them. Williamson is way more flawed than I think. Than I thought he was right. Like he beat Cheeseman with a left hook, and he, and he ran off some wins. Harry Scarf, and and he and he got some wins. He I don't know how he, he won them, so you can't take it away from him. I don't know how he's winning fights. Um, you think he's getting stopped? You think he's get? There, there was no over under on on DraftKings, uh, Ryan. They, they, I didn't see an over under on it. Um, I, Troy's been tough. Like, why do you think he's gonna stop? I, I agree. Uh, Williamson's going to lose to a Jocko, but why do you think Troy Williamson is, is going to get stopped? Do you think it's his chin or do you think it's, it's, it's the power? Did he almost get, he got hurt. He did. That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, the odds have been going crazy on that fight. You know, the time to lock in on that was, was a while ago. Um, I, I think people like me said, let me go back and watch some Troy Williamson. And we're like, nah, he ain't it, bro. Like he everything he's an athlete. A Jocko's a better athlete. I don't think Troy Williamson is a puncher, right? What is he? He's a come forward fighter who can't really hit. Who's not hyper athletic, right? Like you know, he, he he's like a guard. He, he, he's like a poor man's Lamont Roach kind of, right? Like he, he, I I don't know what that. And Lamont Roach has a world title. So shout out to Lamont Roach. But I don't see what's so good about him. Like what's so good. Uh, about Williamson. And, and again, when someone put in the comments, they asked me who I like in that fight. Top of the dome, I said Williamson because he's got the Cheeseman knockout. But nah, that guy's not it. Troy Williamson's not it. Um, What else? What else do you guys, uh, O'Hara Davies and, and Ismael Barroso? Who do you guys like in that? Yeah, over eight and a half is. Roy, is that for the. Uh, are you guys. Uh, yeah, a jock goes all the way up to minus uh, minus one eighty five. When I did when I did my video, I think he was minus one seventy, and it, it had moved twice. He was minus one fifteen, minus one thirty, and then when I went to go do the video, he was minus one seventy. Now, uh, Roy, Roy, is that um? There's an over under. I would take the over eight and a half on that fight. I would. When I did it, all DraftKings had was live number was uh was was the money line they didn't have over under and i would take the over on that fight i don't think troy williamson is getting stopped you know a, a, a jocko's not really a mover per se he's more like a boxer puncher but he's a better athlete and i i, I think you just like troy williams is going to come at you if you just stay up the back foot you can have him just out sit there and outbox him which i think he's going to do it he's going to win rounds um right uh I would I, I would make that my lock of the week. Honestly, Troy Williamson on the over is my lock of the week. But lock into that now because those odds are getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Roy, is that uh, from DraftKings? Are those the latest odds from DraftKings? Is that DraftKings? Or, or what book are you getting those odds from? They keep moving. They keep moving. Uh, I would go over, you know, over 8.5 is paying minus 370. It's kind of whack. Yeah, DraftKings. I always use DraftKings. I like using DraftKings. I think they get pretty good odds. It's just it's it, it's user friendly. Um, but see if you can get better than, than minus one eighty on on a Jocko. Like, uh, yeah, right. The, the odds are moving drastically on, on that. You just got minus one ten. I saw minus one fifteen. Moving, moving, right. Um, when I first looked at it, like it was like minus 115 for a Jocko and minus 110 for Troy Williamson. Um, I was like, okay, this is an even money fight. And, and now 
everyone is betting on Troy Williamson. So they keep moving the odds. So that tells me two things that everyone is betting on a Jocko and Vegas, the bookmakers think a Jocko is going to win, right? Like, and, and, and they're hedging their bet by moving those odds. But once you lock into that, it doesn't matter. Like right? once you locked in, you're locked in. The, the, those are the odds that you're getting. Um, so if, if that's a fight that you're interested in betting in, um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I would definitely, definitely lock into that. What else do you guys want to look at this week? Is there anything else y'all want to see this week? Harry Davies? Is that, is, that's a good fight. Um, I'm gonna. I, I, I think O'Hara Davis is probably gonna get knocked out, but he did survive Lewis Ritson, right? Um, O'Hara Davis survived Lewis Ritson. So McComb and Sam Maxwell. Uh, boy, that's a good fight. Is, is you want me to do that video? I I can do that. I don't wanna. I don't know the odds on that. I can I can pull it up, uh, but I don't want to give you guys bad advice. What do they have on that? On um. On DraftKings, they just have they just have the money line in that fight, right? Is that all they have on that fight? Is the money line? Let me let me see. Let me let me see if I can find it. I'm looking for it. Sam Noakes, Brad, uh, Gavin Gwynn. You guys interested in, in Gavin Gwynn and Emiliano Marcelli? So I'm gonna come and all right. I'm gonna put this up here. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna share. I'm gonna present this. Share screen. <laughs> Can y'all see this? This is uh this is um Sean McCombs and, and Sam Maxwell. I'm gonna I'll I'll do this I'll do this next. Uh over eight and a half is minus four twenty five. The money line. Where's the Fight lines. I mean that off the top of my head, that's what I'm looking at. Sean McComb and over eight and a half. Uh, but I'll, I'll I'll definitely, you know, I was surprised you, yeah, by that. You, if you guys, I'm gonna go watch some Sean McComb. He's not really a puncher, um, right? He's tall and long. Yeah, he's got just five knockouts. I would probably take the over on that. Um, but I, I'll do that. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll hook that video up. I'll, I'll do that fight. We call him Maxwell. Who do you, who, who? We call him Maxwell. Who, who, who y'all got in that? Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, I, I I did a video on that. Uh, go check my video on on on, uh, on on that fight. Yeah, I got McComb too, I think. But I'm gonna go watch the video. I'm not. That's not my official bet yet. Let me go watch the fight. Right. I, I don't want to get caught in that. Um, but yeah, Ryan Garcia is gonna win that fight on points, right? Like, uh, Durante is gonna hit him, and you're gonna see Ryan respond the way Jonathan Gonzalez did tonight. He's going to respond the way Jonathan Gonzalez is. He's not going to like it. So he's just going to get on his bicycle and survive. Ryan Garcia will win the fight because he's a better boxer than Durante. But this fight, the odds are way too wide, right? And, and Durante is a real threat. And I, I think once he lands and he scores, Ryan's going to say, nah, screw it. He's going to hit Ryan in the body one time. And Ryan's just going to get back on his bicycle and, and, and win rounds and, and take a decision. I really like Ryan Garcia uh, on the over, Ryan Garcia by points. I, I take the over. I take Ryan Garcia on the points. I, I would, uh, by decision, I would bet that every single way possible. If you can get odds specifically, I know DraftKings doesn't do it, but other books do it. Specifically on unanimous decision, I would take that. Uh, but, no, I like Ryan Garcia um, to win the fight, obviously, and I, and I like the fight going on the over. I like the fight going the distance. Uh, what do you think, Ra? What do you think? I, I got, I got, some people didn't like that. Some people said that, uh, you know, they thought he's definitely going to knock Durante out. Durante is there to be hit. What do you think, Roy? You think, you think uh, Ryan's going to win by points or you think he's going to stop him? McComb, everyone likes McComb, McComb, McComb. I'll do that video. I'll do McComb and Maxwell. Let, let me watch the video. Um, you know, McComb and Maxwell, guys I'm familiar with, but I don't, you know, uh, let me, let me see if I change my mind. Let me see if I see anything in Maxwell that makes me think that he can pull his upset here. Um, 
What do you guys think? You guys think Ryan Garcia is going to win by by stoppage or or, or on points? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up soon. I've been on almost, almost a half hour already. Appreciate you guys. I'll I'll do this more if you guys are interested. I wish he had it in him. Seems like everyone is taking. Yeah, and I like I, I like um, Durante. I think Durante is really good. I just think Ryan's going to be a little too much for him. Or like Ryan has enough power um, where he's going to break you down. He's going to hit you enough, and he's going to break you down. It's not you know people want to talk about Ryan like like he's some bum or not. Like he just doesn't like getting hit. Like he came out aggressive. He came out pressuring Tank, and then he got hit, and then they're like, nah, nah, dog. That's enough. That's enough. I'm not going to get hit again. I don't want to, I don't, and then, you know, Tank hit it with the body shot, and that was that. But I, I think Durante is going to have some some moments. Like, he, uh, you know, I don't know how many rounds he's going to win, but he's going he's gonna to land, he's going to score, and I think Ryan's going to run out the clock. Um, you know, like, Durante doesn't hit like Luke Campbell, so I don't think that Ryan's going to go in there and seek and destroy him. I think Ryan's going to outbox him. I think it's gonna, he's going to – he's not going to turn him into a back foot – Fighter like he did with Game Boy Emmanuel to go. He's not going to do that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Raw. Uh, and uh, let me know, G- guys. Um, shout out, shout out to uh, to to uh, Raw Guru for the, for the five bucks. I appreciate that. Um, but save it when I when I when I get you a winner. When I get you a winner, share the love. Uh, share the love, right? Uh, when I tell you Mario Barros is going to be Ugas by decision and it pays eight fifty. Then then, 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 chip in. I appreciate you guys. Um, all right, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll, I'll do this again. Uh, I'll do this again for more fights. Um, it's, uh, it's November 29th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Oh, guys, and follow me on social media: Street Box and Three Box and Blog on Twitter. Uh, look forward to it. Looking forward to uh, to making more videos for y'all. Uh, Till the next one.